Hi everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. We have got another really neat sketchbook for you. Cynthia was a student uh, last semester in my foundation drawing class. We filmed this sketchbook about a month ago and uh, a little bit over a month ago actually. And Cynthia is really, really, really good at drawing cute animals. So I hope that you enjoy her sketchbook. Now, she definitely has a Tumblr um, and I'll post it here at my blog and she mentions her Tumblr at the end of the video as well. But come on over to the blog and leave us a comment. I would really, really appreciate that. And then head on over to uh, Cynthia's uh, Tumblr and yeah, leave her a comment because she's got some really cool work. Listen, I've got some more sketchbooks. I'm going to kind of sprinkle them throughout the summer on YouTube. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Be good. Hey everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. I'm a little bit out of breath. We're squeezing in a couple of sketchbooks here at lunchtime and we have Cynthia who's nice enough to share her sketchbook with us. Cynthia is from where? Idaho. Idaho. All right. So, wow. That sounds like so exotic. Idaho sounds so exotic, actually. <laughs> it is. I won't lie. All right. Well, awesome. So, Cynthia has some really good uh, sketchbooks, and, and let's get to it. Um, so, why don't you start flipping? Should I do my inspiration? Or? No. Just, just go from the top. Just go from the top. Uh, let, let's look at your stuff. I mean, you know what? Actually, go back. Go back. Let's, oh, no. let's check out the inspiration. Why not? What is your inspiration and what is your dream job? My dream job is to be a character designer or to work with storytelling, hopefully oh. in animation. Okay, and you obviously love to draw animals. I love drawing animals. Nice. All right, so let's show everyone, like, see, Cynthia has real. we're just going to let Cynthia flip. Like, look at, look at that page. That's a really nice page with, like, she's got all the right line. That's gorgeous, too. Oh, my God. Um, oh, Norman Rockwell. That, so this is, this is a sketchbook from when? Um, this is, I started in the beginning of the semester, so, like, mid-January. Mid-January. And these animals that you're drawing, are you drawing them out of your imagination? Um, these are, they're dragons, so my dragons I make myself, so... And you specifically like to draw animals and creatures much better than you like to draw people. Yes, definitely. All right, so just slow down just a little bit because some of these are really gems and we're cruising by them way too fast. So this is just for a little bit of motion? Yes, animation. Okay. Wow, look at that. That's really nice too. Where'd you draw that from, that rooster? Um, like these fine ones are usually just from picture reference. Okay. If they're messier, they're probably from life. <laughs> so let, let's ask a question. So how long, how many hours a day do you draw in your sketchbook or do you not draw in it every day? Um, I don't draw in it wow. every day, but I definitely draw every day. I don't like drawing in sketchbooks. I'm more of a di digital kind of person. Oh, so you like to uh, work digitally much more. Oh, wow. Hold on. Hold on. You're going too fast. Oh, gosh. That looks really good. So not every day, you're not a huge fan of sketchbooks. Yeah, it's like, the digital's more forgiving for me at least. Okay, and when you do your animation for Marty's class, do you do it digitally? Yes. Okay, and what are you primarily drawing with in this sketchbook? This is all color erase. All color erase, and you're kind of mixing up Yes. The colors I see, and it looks really good. So you have some pages uh, hidden, I think. Yeah, if they're like folded, they were probably really bad, but oh. I don't want to like rip them out. Okay. So, yeah. Now you don't have any phone numbers in here, do you? These are just all notes from school. Yeah, those all are right. just notes. <laughs> all right. I mean, I'll, of course, I'll watch it before I post it, but <laughs> phone numbers wouldn't be good. Yeah. Do you have a site that you want to promote? I do. I'm on Tumblr and Instagram. Uh, okay. And I'm at. Yeah. Flip that page. Flip that page. No, just oh. kind of rotate. So what we'll do is we'll post your Tumblr, Tumblr and Instagram oh. links at the end of the video, or we'll post them under the video. Okay. So this was done digitally, and you just taped it in your sketchbook, or? Yes, this was done digitally for your class. This was the painting that we did. Okay. Yeah. So now, what program do you like the most? Um, I use Photoshop, but I also use Paint Sai Pretty religiously both. Okay. 
Oh, okay. There's the other one. So this was the, for the black and white piece, and that was a combination of both of those softwares. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice job. Now, so what I noticed with Cynthia's work is that she's got a really definitive style, the way that she draws, and I, I love it. I, I think the style is really good, and I wouldn't try to get rid of that style because some students don't like their style. I would try to like refine it and mature it. I think it looks really good, especially all the animal drawings. It's very organic. You you like your style, right? I do, yeah. Yeah, and um, it comes pretty natural to you. And this is wow, that's a nice page. This is the way that you've been drawing pretty much like your whole life. Yeah. And do you try to apply all of the traditional techniques that I teach in class to your crazy characters? Yes, I learned so much in your class and my artwork has improved a lot, so I'm happy. All right, let's slow down a little bit. Wait a second, wait a second. Um, wow, very nice. And these are figures from life in class? This is from Model Night. So I did Model Night. A couple of those. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a real big fan of drawing the figure in the sketchbook because it's such a short, a lot of people shorten legs to kind of fit it in the, the page. Yeah. So I'm not a big fan of that, but at least you're drawing and that's a good thing. Very natural with all that. That's a gorgeous page. That's the tree in class. Yeah. <laughs> hold on now, hold on, hold on. We gotta just share this page. How did you like doing this exercise where we drew somebody else's rough animation? I loved it a lot. It, it's, it's really valuable to see like the cinematography and the drawings, how they simplify it. So I really liked it. Good. Wow, and where's that? The Museum of Natural History. Awesome, awesome. Look at that. Wow, that's gorgeous. It was really hard to draw the animals though. They're really, like, oh, really hold stiff. On, hold on. Yeah, I mean, no, that rhinoceros is just amazing. I mean, you guys on YouTube see how good that drawing is right there. It's loose, it's descriptive. Uh, is that an ant eater? Um, oh, I think that's a monkey down here. Okay, I'm a little off on that one. <laughs> I saw the long snout and it was down near the ground. Oh, that's its hand. All right, I'm looking through, oh my God, <laughs> embarrassment. I'm looking through the iPhone here. That, that's. You excelled at, at, on that field, so that was really, really good. I liked it. Just more. Wow, look at that. Bones Very are hard. Pretty. So that was in the dinosaur room? Uh, yes. All the kids. And did you enjoy going on that field trip? I loved it a lot. It was really fun. This is excellent stuff. All colorase. Yes. Polar bear? Yes. <laughs> love it, love it. That, this is where you really excel with animals. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> crazy good stuff. And the other thing that I really, really am a big fan of with the way that Cynthia draws is that she's not afraid to press down hard on the pencil. So you're pretty strong. You're, you're, the color race is, this is all still color race. Yes. Yeah, I mean, this is crazy. Like, you're pressing down really hard. And, and for those of you guys who know the color race, it's a pretty light pencil. And you seem to, like, get the darks very easily. Yeah, I like going down hard. It's probably not good for my hand, but... Wow. Hold on, hold on now. And what is all this stuff? Like... This is actually for a game that's coming out in a couple weeks, and I just really like the character design, and that would be, like, a dream job to work for something like that. Mm. And, okay, so... Awesome. So you you wouldn't have a problem doing that character design? No. I mean, I like to think I wouldn't, but I think that's it for the sketchbook. Okay. Yeah. Well, we we went through that really fast. So <laughs> if, if you guys wanna, what what's your favorite page in that sketchbook? In this sketchbook? Yeah. What's your favorite page? Oh my god. For goodness. me, it was that rhinoceros. Yeah. yeah. I, I like my animal drawings a lot. Yeah. Yeah. That's, th this is that. a good. That's a good page, that rhinoceros and the polar bear. Yeah. Yeah, let's see that one. Yeah, that's a, that's a real, that's, see, if you can draw these animals this way, it's the same way as drawing the figure. It's the same line, same form, organic, so good job. So let's see, you got another sketchbook for us? 
I do have All right. one. Let's check it out. Let's, let's put that one aside. It's a beautiful day. It's lunchtime. Barry is late, and we're going to film Barry's sketchbook next. Hello, Barry. Sorry. And that's okay. It's okay. We snuck Cynthia in first, so instead of me just waiting and getting all stressed out, we're just trying to be proactive. <laughs> so this sketchbook now, you started it when? Um, middle of last semester, so actually probably like November. November. Yeah. Okay, so... And I finished it in mid-December. Wow. So hold on. Now, this is... <laughs> quintessential you. Yes. Out of your imagination. Yeah. Cute, puzzly characters. Love it. Everything is has that really kind of cute quality to it, and then you turn to a page with teeth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I really appreciate that you're going through all those videos. Those are really old videos, so I really, really appreciate that. I love them. They're really nice. Yeah, well, we're redoing all of them now. <laughs> Thank you. And then more gestures, attempts, in a sketchbook. So, the, the keep, keep flipping as we talk, but yeah go, at, yeah, go at a decent pace, not too fast. So, the sketchbook that we filmed first is the newer one. Yes. I definitely see the improvement. I mean, make no mistake about it, that's a really nice drawing, but I, I really see the improvement. Those, that's gorgeous too, holy Moses. You, you have a nice touch with the pencil. Mm. Wow, you really did all of the homework. Good for you, <laughs> good for you. So now this summer, you're going back to Idaho? I am. <laughs> and what's gonna happen in Idaho this summer? I really wanna work on like my website and to get like commissions going and just like work on the dirty work as an artist. Oh. Wow. And where did you get this talent that you have? Like <laughs> is someone in your family an artist or? No, I'm actually the only artist in my family. See this is this is you. This is your brand right here. Yes. <laughs> this is your brand. Like you've got to have this on your website. <laughs> and that's what you're going to be known for. These cute cuddly characters. <laughs> And you're gonna license those characters, and, and you're gonna have a big mansion in Idaho on 20 oh my acres. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did live in a cabin in like 20 acres in Idaho. It was nice. Wow. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. I mean, you've got some good pages in this sketchbook. Don't get me wrong. This is just homework. I yeah. Don't think I have to flip it. No, no, that's my perspective. Homework that's getting redone. So um, there are some really beautiful pages in this sketchbook, but that other sketchbook. You were a little bit more relaxed with your line. Yeah. Wow. You see, I what I really appreciate with each individual student's sketchbook is the diversity. And I re wow. Okay, now hold on. See, this is a page that I would really struggle with. Like, I, this is not me. Like, I couldn't do this. So this is what I appreciate most is the things that I can't do. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> that character is really cool. It's it's not that, it, it's it's where you put your focus. I haven't focused on animals, and this is your main. That that's one of my favorite pages right there. <laughs> so how, wait a second now. How long did that page take you? This page, actually, I think the sketching took very quickly, like minutes, probably like five minutes. But then I like went back probably a week later and like rendered it, and it probably took um, like a half hour. For that, oh my God, that's short. That's really good. I can't get over how you handle it. That's polar race too. Actually, I think like I used um what's it called? The really dark the Derwent pencil? Yes. Yes. Yeah, the Derwent uh, is a big famous pencil company and they have these pencils that act like black crayons and they they actually come in colors and chocolate and blue. It's really fun to draw with. Yeah. And I think that's like where the sketchbook ends. Though this is so you, like these are phenomenal. So every time that you do a figure drawing, you gotta draw those like crazy like animals on your figure drawing page. Yeah. Cynthia, 
thank you so much for sharing. Your artwork is phenomenal. We're gonna post up your Tumblr. Do you know the name? Do you, yeah, is it is it live? Uh, yeah, it's called Sintunes, like my name, C-Y-N, then tunes, at tumblr.com. All right, awesome. Thank you. Yeah. And thanks so much for watching, you guys. We're going to film Barry's sketchbook next, and we'll see you soon.